If you ask a room full of roboticists for the definition of robot, you'll get a lot of answers. Robotics tends to be an integrative discipline where lots of engineering subjects and computer science and potentially human factors in psychology all come to play. Likewise, culture has provided lots of definitions for robots. There's robots in fiction and movies and books, and some stem back to the idea of the golem. There's often the sense that a robot is a replacement for a human. It, for this course, I'm going to pose this much simpler definition, which is that a robot is a surprisingly animate machine. That's a quote. It's in the syllabus. It's a slippery definition, much like artificial intelligence, in that once you see something, maybe it's no longer surprising. Something can only be surprising when it's really new. Um, but still, it, it captures that essence of the robot is animate and it is acting in a way that is responding to the world that has some element of unpredictability and, and difference. One other way to phrase it is we're going to make expressive dynamic behavior. I, in particular, emphasize building machines with dynamic physical behavior because I feel that the physical dynamics of a machine interacting with an uncertain world uh, has a way of revealing uh, an underlying process and that often leads to a person perceiving that process as having intent. Then once that person is entrained to see the robot interacting with, with whatever is around it uh, in some purposeful way, then as an artist, we can manipulate that intent to convey whatever underlying RD we want to convey or what underlying narrative story we're trying to convey. Behavior as a word is not very well defined here, um, but we can work on a working definition. Um, certainly at one level, it's simply programmed behavior, actions that take place over time. It can be physical interactions between a machine and the world, sometimes even without computation, um, where the world and the uncertainty of the world, um, the environment around the robot, induce different kinds of uh, reactions over time. One essential hypothesis is that simply producing a feedback process, some, some process where the robot is measuring the world or measuring its internal state and then responding to it, to either regulate or achieve some goal, um, easily creates an illusion of intent. It's mostly a, an observation about human beings in that we are primed to perceive some life and agency. It might be an illusion in the sense that the robot might be doing something very simple, and yet when it interacts with the world, potentially in complicated ways, then we will often see a goal inside of that, and perhaps a goal much bigger than is actually sort of taking place within the program. So once we see that you know, machines exhibiting feedbacks will be perceived as having agency and intent, um, then we will find ways to, to use that. One question that always comes up in this context is, is that of intelligence. And that is, are, are you creating a machine intelligence or just some kind of simulacrum? Working in art, we can neatly sidestep that. Because what really matters for the art piece is how the viewer perceives it. So if a person sees your piece, sees a piece, and walks away with some idea, either that the machine is carrying out some goal or carrying out some, some, uh, some feeling or process, and the human being successfully uh, has a good experience from that, then we can claim success and not worry so much about whether the machine is actually intelligent as long as the piece works as an art piece.